सो वेस लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट इज़ अ ग्रेट सर्कल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ ग्रेट सर्कल एंड न्यूमेरिकल सो प्लीज बी टी लैंड एंड वॉच द एंटायर वीडियो सो अ ग्रेट सर्कल ट्रैक इज द शॉर्टेस्ट डिस्टेंस मेजर्ड अलॉन्ग द अर्थ सर्फेस बिटवीन टू प्लेसेस ओके नाउ प्रैक्टिकली एट सी यू प्लॉट द डिपार्चर एंड अराइवल पोजिशन ऑन द नोमैनिक चार्ट एंड ज्वाइन दम बाई अ स्ट्रेट लाइन यू रीड ऑफ द वर्ट एक्स स्विचेबल ए पॉइंट फ्रॉम चार्ट एंड यू डू मार्केटर सेलिंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट टू पॉइंट देर फाइव फॉलोइंग अ ग्रेट सर्कल ट्रैक इफेक्टिवली एंड कन्वीनियंटली सो वेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट अ ग्रेट सर्कल एंड अबाउट द वर्ट एक्स सो प्लीज बी टील एंड सो गैस प्लीज बी टील एंड एंड वॉच द एंटायर वीडियो एंड क्लियर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द वर्ट एक्स ग्रेट सर्कल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट ए स्कीप अ वीडियो यू कैन गो टू अ डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड सी द पॉइंट्स एंड गो टू डायरेक्ट दैट मिनट एंड वॉच यूर पॉइंट वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट एक्स और एनीथिंग सो दिस इज अ कोसाइन फॉर्मूला वी विल डू आवर ग्रेट सर्कल नोमेरिकल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एज इट इज वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी कॉन्वीनियंट एंड वेरी इजी टू रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला सो कोसाइन फॉर्मूला दैट इज कॉस ऑफ एंगल ए इज कॉस ऑफ बी सी माइनस कॉस ऑफ ए बी कॉस ऑफ ए सी डिवाइडेड बाई साइन ऑफ ए बी साइन ऑफ बी सी एंड सो ऑन एज इट इज सोइंग ऑन द स्क्रीन and also we need to learn about the napier's rule so for napier's rule at least one angle is to be equals to 90 degree or any of the one side is to be of 90 degree that is compulsory for applying a napier's rule any of these two condition has to be full fill formula is shown on the screen so please be so well guys after a uh, lots of theory let's have example of a numerical so so first question so find the initial course and the final course distance along the grid circle so we have to find a initial course final course and the distance of the grid circle that is from the position position is given that this is from a to b this is a track we have to find the distance initial course and final course so for that first we have to decide whether which side or what way the great circle sailing is taking place so so either you can draw a sphere and you can give a equator from there you can do it or if you have a idea you are clear to the points like north east south west so it's easy so i will draw directly so so i had taken this point as a south okay so from the question that is i am i am taking it 30 degree 20 minute south okay so 30 minute 20 degree south and i have to go 50 minute 40 minute south that means from lower near to the equator i have to go far to the equator means near to the pole so this is the first things means we have to go this way or this way so now we have to decide whether i will go this side or this side so this will be cleared from after seeing the our longitude so longitude that is 142 degree 45 minute 0 west and from here we have to go 70 degree 30 minute to the east now now after seeing this you will see that from west we have to go east mint mint means we have to draw this way but no my friend this is wrong now let's assume this is your globe okay this is a green meridian so the 180 will lie this side so as per this respect what we will do we will do this way and if we will opposite we will do we will just convert the globe we will face the back side to our side then what it will be do it will be facing this way so that means from this to we have to draw the vertex this way that is from point a to b and this is the c okay guys so let's have a view with the numericals okay well guys now let's understand let's solve it so for that we know as our point c is our pole as the equator the entire hemisphere and this point x where it touches that touches touches to our center uh, our pole so for that uh, we will do it by a cosine formula as in the subramanian book sir he has done it by a abc formula so abc formula is very easy very simple but 
but in numerical if they ask in the examination they sometimes they used to ask for find the distance and sometimes distance is given and we have to do the entire things in a reverse way so for that so that's so for that that abc formula becomes very difficult to solve it so we will do it by a simple way so that first i had find out my ac that this is the ac and you know that from equator to the pole it's 90 and till a we know the value is 30 degrees so after multi uh, subtracting 90 minus 30 we get our remaining thing that is ac from there i got my bc and angle c angle c is d long okay now now what the first thing we have to find out the distance distance means the, we have to find this ab this is our great circle distance so for that that is cos cos of c formula the cosine formula cos of ab minus cos of ac into cos of bc divided by cos of ac into cos of bc so from there i have done the inter uh, cross multiplication and i i have to find my ab so for ab again i have put the value and I got my AB. So AB I had got in the degree, but but the distance is always in miles. So for to convert into mile, I have multiplied with 60 degree. Okay. So this is my distance. So till distance, it's clear. Now we have to find the cos angle A. So what is angle A? So this is the angle A. This is angle A. So for that, that is cos of A, cos of B, C again the formula and angle A. Now this is very simple because cosine formula is very simple. The main things arises that how we are going to decide the angle. So deciding angle is a very tricky thing. Just come to the figure. So once you have drawn the correct figure, it's very simple. It's very easy to you deciding the angle. So as we are in the south quadrant, so therefore the prefix will be south and we are moving to a west. Don't think about the hemisphere. Don't think about the quadrant that you are going to east you from west to east just look at a figure that what as per the figure where you are going so as per the figure we are going to south uh, sorry west so therefore southwest okay now again for b so for b cause again the formula entire formula you know as per the cosine rule that is uh, cos of uh, angle think about this okay cos of angle this is equals to side Mine cos of side minus cos of this side, this side divided by cos of this side and this side. Okay, so we get the formula, we get the value x or though 19 decimals, uh, 19 decimal 3. So, what the problem arises here is that this will be the our angle B, okay, as per the things what we have done. So this this will be the our angle, but this should be in the quadrant form. Okay, one eighty. So now whenever whenever your angle B comes more than ninety, don't do anything. Simply think and subtract it one eighty minus the angle if it is more than ninety degree. So we get our value seventy seven forty decimal seven. Now again the things arise that how we are going to decide the uh, angle. Uh, means the quadrant so for that same again you are in the south quadrant and as per that you are still moving to the west because if you see the things we are still moving to the south there for the southwest hope guys it is clear to you and if you really like the video then please give us a thumbs up and before moving out the video let's have an idea of a vertex that how we are going to decide that where the vertex lie outside or inside so Please be till end. Our vertex. So what is a vertex? So vertex is a in a simple way we will understand that is a vertex of a great circle. It is a that point where the great circle reaches its maximum latitude. So we know that latitude, what is latitude and great circle that is vertex is always vertex means it is a peak where the great circle starts to curve or it starts to go down. So we have to decide whether how we will uh, come to know that whether a vertex will lie in between or the outside so we will see by this example so let's have this so if if your entire thing is in the south quadrant means if you draw this uh, where we considered a north pole and hence it will be lying in the northern northern hemisphere okay so vertex will be in the northern hemisphere only so let's if it's saying your initial course is not 70 degree east and final is 80 degrees so therefore it means we will lie between a and b so, okay we will lie in between a and b so it's saying in the 
90 degree is showing in that direction but if it is 90 degree then both sides will be 90 degree so that means to the east of a means vertex will lie east of the a and west of the b as seen that you are going from north to east okay these things we have to remember we have to memorize these things there is no any shortcut for this now now let's uh, move to point number two what's saying so it's saying now initial course is not 65 west and final course is south 85 west now in the terminology of south then uh, uh, north uh, sorry west then again it will be lie in between therefore v lies between a and b and west of the a but east of the b so this how now how we, we are saying that it will be west of a so the initial course is our 65 degree okay and our final course is 85 degree means from north okay we are going to the means from west to we are going to the more west okay that means this will be the peak so the vertex will lie to that area only because that is the peak now next understand with the point number three it's saying that initial course is not 45 degrees and final course is 70 degrees okay means if if the if the initial course and the final course are in the same quadrant okay just remember this way initial course and the final course are both in the same quadrant therefore v lies on a b proceed produced so to the east of a and b okay that means what that means means if the the, the things we have to remember that if the vertex if the vertex if your course a and b are on the same quadrant then your vertex will lie outside that will be lie outside of which side a or b so that will depend if your initial course is less than your final course then it will be lie outside of the final course move to the this point again it's same initial course is less than the final course so therefore it is vertex is lies outside initial course is greater than the final course then it will be lie before the initial course hope it's uh, clear to you guys let's understand this in the south hemisphere also so in the southern hemisphere now same if the entire your great circle is in the southern hemisphere great circle selling then again the vertex will be in the southern hemisphere same if you are on the if so on this in a very simple way if initial course and the final course is in a different quadrant okay if both are in a different quadrant different quadrants then vertex will be between them and if the initial quadrant initial uh, course and the final course lies in the same quadrant okay if both lies in the same quadrant therefore your vertex will lie outside so lie outside in the which side if the if the final course is greater then for vertex will lie outside b and if the initial course is greater as you see this here initial course is greater than the final course then it will be lie before the a and whereas this is the same quadrant and the final course is more more than the initial course therefore it is lies outside the b hope it's clear to you guys and if you really like the video then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe the channel and do share with friends thank you and jai hind